what is happening guys welcome on down to the live stream we have quickly transitioned from twitch back over to youtube but uh we are here gonna give this a crack and see if we can build some absolutely amazing uh machine learning models for forza who knows where we'll go we'll give this a crack and see where we end up let me quickly try changing something because i feel like i've just managed to break all of my little buttons on my stream deck which is a bit of a pain because that means i can't transition or like do slick transition let's try this out hold up also shout out to uh to silent knight who was on the, the twitch stream my boy was backing me up we were testing out twitch but uh clearly wasn't all that great okay this is working okay we are looking good switch back Okay, sweet. All right, I'll go just unplug this and plug it back in. Which is a no-no. Well, thanks, Ash. <laughs> Clearly. All right, is this uh, that color? Let's double check that color's working. Hey, Dan, how you doing? All right, let's do the normal introductions. How we doing? How you doing, Koshal? How you doing, Luck? How you doing, Kedis? How you doing, Lakshman? Wesley, what's happening? Wesley, was that you on Twitch? If that was, thanks a million, man. How you doing, Hamza? How you doing, Balangu? How you doing, Bashar? How you doing, Sandil? How you doing, Yuan? How you doing, Mas? Dan, what up, my boy? Can't wait to see you back in Sydney, man. Power Cube, what up? How you doing, Prakash? Hey, Ash. What are we getting for dinner later? Finally doing something that our boy Nick is in dire need. <laughs> Alrighty, cool. All right, so the game plan in this video is we are going to be building our very, or at least starting some development on Forza Horizon 5. So I literally just spent like 15 minutes on Twitch just trying to get the uh, screen resolution right. So you haven't missed anything. I've deleted all the code, so we're going to kick this, uh, build this back up from scratch. At least try to collect some data today. Maybe we'll do this one as like a multi-day type stream. Oh, thanks a million, Wesley. You are an absolute legend, man. I don't know. I'll go, reach out to me later, man. I gotta, I gotta give you some mad props for that. Also, uh, there's some actually, there's some other stuff that I want to have a chat with you to, guys today about, which is kind of lucky that you guys are on the live stream because you guys are gonna hear about this first. So let me show you what I'm thinking because I've actually got a couple of ideas for what's gonna come onto the channel very very soon because i think it's going to help you out I've, like i read uh, um, so many comments and i'm like i want to help everyone but it's it's really tough to get to every single question so there's a few things that i've got planned coming down the pipeline this is not the actual tutorial but but i'm going to show i want to have a chat so we've got i've got a couple of coding challenges coming coding challenges and I'm not going to tell you anything about that because it is top secret and uh, I want to make it absolutely awesome for you guys. But the thing that I think is going to help you guys out a ton is something which I am calling Tech Nick Support. I also dabbled with the idea of calling it Technique Cool Support, but I don't know, you let me know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be setting up a, um, I'm going to be setting up a, like a little submission form in Google, I think it's Google Forms, and any like questions that you have or bugs that you're having with your code, I'm going to give you a structured format for you guys to submit your requests or request for support so that if you need some help, we can make a video out of it and I'm going to try to get through, I don't know, like maybe 10 a week so that I'll pick like the hardest ones and we can ideally try to go through those and build up from there. Um, but yeah, coding challenges, technique support. I had some other ideas as well. I mean, you know, you let me know what you think, but the, the challenges are going to, I've got a, a something extra special coming with that. Oh, another one. Wait, 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 hold on. I've been having great fun with naming these this weekend. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what the pay, uh, the coding challenge one is going to be called, but it's going to be called pass dat paper and we're going to go through uh, machine learning paper, uh, machine learning videos. <laughs> oh, sorry, machine learning papers. And ideally, it'll go from like reading through the, the paper and actually doing like a um, actually doing like a bit of a walkthrough as well. Better add the cool. What do you reckon, guys? Add the cool. So technical support. 
I reckon. Coding challenges related to ML. So, so it's going to be like skill-based challenges. So it might be, um, well, it might be general challenges as well. Who knows? We'll see. It's up to you guys. You tell me what you want. I'm going to do what, what you guys want. All right. Got to hydrate a little bit. Um, what are we doing now? So dab me up the paper. <laughs> um, nah, this isn't going to be using Serpent AI. I'm just going to be, um, doing a bunch of random stuff. Who knows? We'll see where it goes. Um, but this is ideally, let me draw the diagram that I was thinking about. All right. So back to Forza ML here. Let's actually do a proper breakdown board. Welcome on down to the breakdown board. All right. So Forza ML. Okay. So what are we going to do? So we imagine that this is Forza and like, I'm actually thinking about starting a new artist's YouTube channel. Have you seen how well I can draw? This is a car right here. And this is the rear view. So this is going to be the speedometer over here. And so ideally what I'm thinking is we are going to be using, uh, open CV. Open CV to capture the frame, right? So the goal for Open CV will be to capture. Oh, you know what? Also, like over the weekend, um, I finally revised my entire machine learning memory memory path. So we might need to do that sometime soon as well. I want to touch up on PCA as well, but uh, that's for another day. All right, so we we're going to use Open CV to capture the frame or to render it back to us. What we need to work out is how we are going to capture the output. <laughs> Immaculate drawing. <laughs> uh, Technic owl support. I like that as well. Um, all right. So we love the breakdown board. Immaculate drawing. That's the best car I've seen. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, guys. I love your support. That's why I love you guys. All right. MSS. Wait, wait, wait. MSS is actually going to be used to capture the game frame. OpenCV will be used to render. So cap, this is to render. I'm making a concern, a, a, a definite effort to, to type nicely or to write nicely. I was doing this for a client meeting the other day and we were all laughing at how shocking my handwriting is when I'm in a rush. Um, okay, so the, the one thing that I don't know how I'm going to handle... Oh, I just realized I turned this camera off when we're actually talking to it. So the one thing that I don't know how we're going to handle is how we capture the output from the controller. So let's say that this, I've got an Xbox controller here. All right, let me draw this a little bit nicer. Well, yeah. Huh? What, what do you say, guys? And then little bumpers. Boom, boom. Yeah, an X here. A little joystick here, a little joystick here, a little thing over here. Ba, 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 ba. Beautiful. All right, what I don't know is how do we capture the output from this? So this is going to be a little bit of our exploratory coding analysis. Is that a thing? Exploratory coding analysis, ECA. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool. So let's actually go and do this. Oh yeah, my bad. I, I realized, so normally I turn this camera, this one off when I am like coding, cause it runs out of battery, but I realized I plugged it in anyway, so I don't need to. Xbox equals greater than, is greater than PlayStation. I mean, I, I grew up with PlayStation and then I don't know, I just transitioned and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with uh, export by Hacker RF. What's that in regards to Malzi? Um, anyway, yeah, so, so I grew up with PlayStation and then I transitioned to Xbox. I don't know when, but wait, what was it for? There was one game. No, I can't remember now. Read RF frequency by Hack RF. Interesting. It would be interesting to see if an ML model can predict my drawings. Yeah, I reckon it would be. Like, this is clearly a masterpiece here, guys. I'm actually thinking of, like, going for the, uh, what do you, what do you, the, um, I reckon we could go for the Archibald prize with that. Let's be real. It's, uh, absolute, oh, Halo, Halo, that, that's what I played. Like, I used to just watch, like, I was never good at games. I used to watch my best mate, Chris, play, and, and that was about it. But, um, yeah, no, I eventually got it for that. Okay, what are we doing? Let's, uh, let's actually do some stuff. So, um, lots of blabbing. 
Um, but I like talking. I like talking to you guys. You the real ones. All right, let's do this. Okay, so I've got the game. This getting to this state, just a windowed game, took me Lord knows how long. Like, I'm clearly not a gamer, guys. All right, but I can code at least moderately semi okay. If that's, um, that, that's what I'm going to put down in my resume. Can code moderately semi okay. All right, so what do we need to do? So we are going to. So I've already got a shell uh, Python script. There's nothing in it, but this is what we're going to do. So first up, let's go and activate an environment. So I've got a bunch of environments inside of my YouTube folder. CD YouTube. Uh, we need to be in D drive, CD YouTube, CD uh, LS. And we're going to go into this voice cloner one up here. So CD 12, activate our voice cloner environment. Uh, voice cloner backward slash scripts backward slash activate oh also with the coding challenge what do you think about me doing it without actually looking at documentation or um stack overflow so that that's going to be my little twist and then i'll have to do like some sort of forfeit if i have to uh, okay, so we are activating that environment. Let me know. if you, I, I reckon that you, you kind of got to have something at risk, right? Otherwise, it's just like whatever. Okay, so we've activated our environment. We are going to capture the frame. It's very loud. So we need to capture the frame. Let's just at least get this working. Yes. Continue. It sounds impossible. Well, no. So I'll be allowed to look at it. I just, if I do look at it, then it's like a penalty or some sort. It's literally impossible not to use Stack Overflow. I mean, challenge accepted, guys. Famous last words, right? <laughs> it's a super. All right. So we've clearly got the game up and running. This is, this is all I do in Forza. I just sit here and do burnouts. Um, okay, so we... What do we need to go and do? We need to go and... I'm just mentally thinking this through as I go and do drag races. Uh, we need to go and capture this frame. All right, enough screwing around. So let's actually go and capture the frame. So in order to capture the frame, I realized when I did the Dino AI tutorial... This is on my GitHub, by the way. Uh, so in order to capture the frame, I actually use this MSS thing. But somebody told me that I don't think this works outside of famous last words, rest in pepperoni. <laughs> uh, the punishment should be code in light theme. <laughs> uh, yeah, that honestly, it's pretty bad. All right, from MSS. So we're going to use MSS. Does that work on, um, on Linux? MSS frame capture Linux. I thought it didn't work. If it doesn't work on Linux, then we're not going to use it. It says it works on Mac OS and on Linux. Maybe it's Pi Direct Input that it, Pi Direct Input. Okay, hold on. No, so uh, duh, duh, duh. it might be Pi Direct input that doesn't work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Pi Direct input that doesn't um that doesn't work with Linux. Linux Windows. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we can use MSS. We're cool. Because we're just going to be trying to collect, uh, collect frames at least today. So, uh, bring in MSS. So from MSS, import MSS. Let's bring in OpenCV while we're at it. Bring in OpenCV for funsies. Because we need well-documented code. That is clearly very verbose now. Uh, we need OpenCV for rendering. 
uh, import CV2 and then uh, if name equals equals main would you guys like to see me coding stuff outside of ML or like just random stuff you know what I haven't coded in JavaScript for like when was the last time I coded in JavaScript I mean it's still ML related but it's gotta have been a while now Wait, 18 days ago. No, that, that ain't right. Gesture recognition. Well, I don't think I did anything. I think it might have actually been the TensorFlow object detection app. So the 13th of May. Oh gosh. So that's over a year ago. We need comments, but not too many. Uh, I, I just, okay. Uh, okay, so do, do, do. Alrighty, back to you. So run some function. Yeah, pass that for now. So def collect frames. Uh, and we need to do, I think you can use uh, mss.grab to capture the frame. So capture game cap equals mss.grab. Is it not mss.grab? Let, let's check the documentation. As of right now, if this was a coding challenge, I probably would have had to do a million penalties already. Yeah, it is grab. Oh, we need to pass through the rectangle shape. We do need that. Um, doo -doo -doo. We're going to call this game area and we'll come back. We'll tweak that for now. And then let's render it with OpenCV2. There's a lot happening in the chat. We might, I might need to jump back over and have a chat to you guys. Um, okay. So set up the game area. So we've captured the game now. What we what do we want to do with it? We actually need to render it back. Let's save it actually. CB2.im right. And then what do we need? The file name and then the actual image. So file name is going to be uh game app.jpg and then I don't if I remember correctly mss doesn't return the actual image it's like you need to use mss dot something <laughs> so you need to grab the first three Chan we need to convert it into a numpy array grab the first three channels oh that's right because there was an alpha channel as well wasn't there so if i just converted this is i wonder if there's like a two array function all right let's convert it to array oh we can wrap it import numpy or probably don't need that many comments import numpy as np did any of you guys check out the short today? Just curious. I recorded a bunch. Okay, so let's try that. CV2.im, right? And then we actually need to go and run our function. Collect frames. Get rid of that. Save. How are we looking? So far, we've brought in MSS, so from MSS, import MSS, we've brought in OpenCV, so import CV2, we've brought in NumPy, so import NumPy as NP, we've set up the game area, we've set up a function called collect frames, and we're going to run collect frames down here. Okay, save, and then if I go and let's go and run this, so Python, uh, I'm not in the same folder, you know what, let's move this script. 
from my desktop into that folder over here. I've got to reopen it. Uh, Forza game capture. Okay. Python Forza. Let's move this over to the side. You're not going to be able to see that. Forza. Function object has no attribute grab. So we've clearly got an issue here. So from MSS, import MSS. Okay. How do we use this? So with MSS.MSS. I think we need to create an instance of that class. Yeah. Capture. Let's just call it capture for now. And then we're going to call MSS like that. And then it should be capture.grab. Okay, no errors. Beautiful. Now we should be able to see whether or not we've got a capture. And right now it's going to be based on... It is going to be with the code in the frame because we've got this running because we've got this running or we, it'll take a screenshot of the actual screen that I'm showing right now. Game cap. Okay. So it's taken a really small section, but we're getting there guys. We're getting there. Look at that. All right. Baby steps. It's clearly not the right frame that we want. So we want can close this. I think that's at least the first part working. So we want left minus 30. I think it starts at the top. Right, so I'm just going to say go from 0, 0, and then give me, I don't know, let's, let's go width 500, height 400. What do we say? Yeah, all right, let's try that. No issue there. Uh -huh. All right, better, better. Not great. So how much do we actually need? There, there used to be this function inside of uh, Pi Auto GUI, I think Pi Auto GUI, and it tells you when, or the region from which you're going from to from. Actually, funny story. So like when I first got started at IBM, so like you guys know that I work there, right? Um, now, so it's fine if I tell you. But um, when I first got started, one of the first things that I built was this like dynamic like my own little RPA robot. Cause like there was this admin task that I had to do and I hated doing it. Like absolutely hated it. Cause I'm like the UI was clunky as hell. And you had to copy like data from a spreadsheet into like a UI and the UI just didn't have an API that I was allowed to have access to. So I built a, like an RPA based robot using Pi auto GUI. And the only thing is I didn't set up very strict control. So like it would run. And then sometimes the GUI would move. So like the GUI sometimes would, like it was a nightmare. The GUI would change or, just, or move position. So we just start randomly clicking in random places. Anyway, that, that was fun when I had to like scramble to try to like shut off my computer. But uh, you win some, you lose some. I think you can, yeah, CV2 select ROI. Oh wow, we've got a, um, we've got, I should, uh, we should have a read through the comments. Let's quickly finish this and at least collect a bunch of frames. Um, do, 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 do. So what are we doing? So we need the width. What, what, what was our width looking like? Way too small. So let's set width to like a thousand height to, I don't know, 800. No voice. You guys can't hear me. All right, that's looking better. I think that should capture the majority of it. Let's just do 1200. All right, that's capturing pretty much everything that we need. Now, 
ideally what let's actually run it off frame so we can actually see exactly what it's capturing and let's put this right in the top right. if i go and run it again what are we getting the youtube voice cloner game cap all right that's capturing oh now it's capturing way too much so we don't need that much let's actually cut this down so i can probably put these side by side now how big is this screen should be so if i said just said give me 960 and give me 1080 so it'd be 540 so would that not give me the right regions oh, it's got this little bar at the top All right, beautiful. We got it. Cool. All right, let's have a quick, uh, quick look at the chat. But so we've at least managed to successfully grab the frame. So let's take a quick look at our codes. We've written from MSS import MSS, and MSS is what is what is doing the heavy lifting for actually capturing our game. And you could probably use this for whatever you wanted to in the future. So if you needed to collect parts of your screen using Python, you can effectively go and use this. Um, import CV two, import numpy's MP. And then we're specifying the region that we want to capture in this line here. We're setting up our capture device, which is going to be MSS. And then we're, we're just setting up a function, which eventually we're going to iterate through. So in here, I'm just going to set up a for loop, which we just keep going through until we want to stop. Right. Um, and that stop is going to be like a, like we we're just going to quit out of our, out of our voice cloner script effectively. Okay, so let's go back to the chat. There's, I'm seeing a ton of conversation. This is a bit low right now. Alrighty, let's go back. So, do, do, do. I direct input doesn't work. Okay, yeah, I think that was neither on Linux or Mac OS. Ah, funny, I didn't, like, I never knew that. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have done it. Nick, I understand we need comments, but not too many, please. My bad, Falq. What was your idea, Mazzy? One computer, you play game, another computer, ML run and hack RF read data of your control and monitoring data. Surely there's an easier way to capture the, the, the keys from this. I mean, it can't be that hard, right? Uh, I'm a beginner looking at Stack Overflow, yeah. Guys, it is. Is it like completely software? Can we read using a camera and using a motor on the control? Yeah, you could. I order GUI screenshot as a similar speed to MSS, just a little slower, but it could do the job. Interesting. Okay. High direct input doesn't work. Yeah, my bad. Hey, just asking for your opinion. I recently discovered media pipe and open CV. Could you recommend some learning materials to understand it deeper? If you are trying to get started with um, media pipe highly recommend just going to the documentation there's a ton of information on there that you can actually go through in order to just get started so if, if that's that's definitely one place that you could go through to, to to actually build up from there should i eat cornflakes with sugar yes would love a vlog on my personal data science machine learning journey how you started and Got to and where I am career-wise. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Impi is sick, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw if you did what like it sounds like some of you guys did see that there. I think it's like so so cool. So like I've been really getting into like this book. I know I've shown it to you guys a million times, but I'm really getting into this. And a big part of it is really just learning to understand machine learning and, and like the math behind machine learning. So be getting into it an absolute ton. These streams always say, by the way. Okay, there's a ton of questions. Yeah, I don't know. I'm starting to get back into complex it is. I'm starting to just get back into making content that I enjoy making, like that, like stuff that I'm like, oh, I would have loved to have always built that. So now I'm like, screw it. You know what? I'm going to build it. I think I've been focusing very much on like tutorials and stuff that like uh, overall frameworks. I'm, I'm still got, I've got three more, which I think are going to act as like greenfield content. 
but the stuff that you're seeing right now is the type of stuff that I really enjoy making and the stuff that, that we're going to probably do a lot more going forward if you guys are interested. It sounds like you guys are very much interested. All right, let me quickly go through the rest of these questions because I want to get to you all. Um, am I going to use telemetry data from Forza? I don't know. I'll try. We'll see. That's uh, Andreas. Thanks, man. Um, also, you can use the shortcut win left, right, snap the windows. I did not know that. Sweet. Nick, thank you very much for your videos. Write an emoticon recognition program based on your tech. What? Sick. Where are you from? Mexico here. It's 302. I'm based in Sydney. My boy, Jorge, how you doing? This stream is always uploaded. I always upload straight after the fact. Um, is there a specific reason I'm using the voice clone in a virtual environment? Yeah, I'm just being lazy, to be honest. Um, Gian Marco, I, I really should create a new one. I just couldn't be bothered. I really should, though. Don't, don't, don't do as I say, not as I do. Can I use the keyboard keys with Pi Auto GUI? I think you can, yeah. Can you help me make an object detection? Yeah, there's tutorials, guys. How many Ks do I run a, gay, a day? I... I've slowed down now, but it used to be uh, 10 to 13 kilometers. Now I'm, I'm, I'm lifting weights and doing chin-ups. I want to get a muscle up. It is my goal to hit a muscle up by the end of this year. I don't know if I'm going to achieve it, but uh, that's my goal. How can I make a chatbot using GPT or Bloom? I don't know. Maybe we should do a tutorial on that. I'm going to work in a computer vision role. Uh, open CV and just learn a bunch of computer vision techniques. All right, let's jump back into it. Cool. All right. Um... Okay, so we've written this. What we should ideally now do is capture. Let's just write a quick test loop. Um, 4x in range 10. Let's get capture that. And let's just import time because I want to just run a sleep. So that gives me time to get... Well, actually, I can run this side by side now, can't I? So let's actually go time.sleep. Let it sleep. Uh, got it. It says keep playing to stay in the session. Quick burnout. I should also just turn music off so we don't get... Uh, don't get what's called... Radio. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, hold up. So what we need to do is... I'm losing track. All right, what we need to do, let's quickly sleep for like, I don't know, uh, 20 milliseconds. I think it's milliseconds. And then we're going to capture 10 different frames, but we also need import... UUID to capture unique identifiers because we want to name them uniquely. So we'll call it uh, F and then UUID dot UUID. UUID one. That should work. Could have tested that before we're about to run 10 captures, but uh, risk it for the biscuit. All right, so I can't see any issues apart from that looking weird. I uh, slept for way too long. Let's get rid of this sleep for now. All right, there you go. Captured a bunch of frames. Boom, 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 boom. All right, cool. So I think we got that sorted. And what did I, what wasn't I happy with? So we're saving, you know what? To Gian Marco's point, let's be proper programmers, even though, <laughs> though can be a little hacky. Let's actually go and set up a proper project because I'm going to set this up on GitHub. You guys can have it later on. We're going to call this Forza ML. And let's go and create a new environment. Because I'm not happy just 
being a bit janky running this in the uh, voice cloner one, so I'll deactivate. Let's move that our actual code. As you can see, it's going to get a little, super messy by having it in here. Bad practice. Also bad Nick for doing that. All right, so uh, CD, let's get out of here. CD Forza. And then let's create a new environment. So Python dash MV NV Forza. Make this a bit bigger so you can see it. All right, then let's activate it. Dot backward slash Forza, backward slash scripts, backward slash activate. That's our environment activated. And then we're probably going to need, let's just open up our file and install the stuff that we're going to need. All right, cool. So we need, a, just double check. What do we have in here? Nothing. Okay. So uh, let's go and install. We, do, we need NumPy, OpenCV, and MSS. Pip install. Oh. Python dash M pip install. MSS. OpenCV dash Python. You guys are going to be able to see that. And what else do we need? And NumPy. Oh, I think that's good. All right, let's just make sure this is still going to run. Uh, you know what? We should actually put it in a, in a folder. Let's structure this properly. So let's create a new folder. And we'll call it uh, data. And we're actually going to save our, let's import OS. And then we are going to specify our, where we write our to os.path.join. os.path.join. And we're going to put it inside of data. And then it's going to be named that particular file name. Does that look fine? os.path.join. Yeah. Okay. That should be fine. All right, let's run that now. So ideally, now when we run our game capture, it should be stored inside of our data folder, not inside of just the generic folder. Let's let's build for success rather than just being a bit janky with our code. So if I go and run, my head going to cut that off. Python and then Forza game capture dot pi Python. Unmatched do uh, what have we done there? We've opened that, we've closed that. OS the path of join and then we are passing through Am I losing the plot? OS the No, it's fine. What is happening here? F string unmatched. No, well, let's just do it outside the F string then. File name. And then pass through file name here. Let's test that. Join argument must be strings, bytes. Got it to a string then. Yeah, it's still dot JPEG. Okay. Cool. All right. No issues. All right. And that's our images saved. So obviously I had the code popping up over it. So let's, uh, let's close this. So if we go and run it now. And if we run Python dash uh, Python and then Forza game cap, all things holding equal, we should have captured more game frames. Boom! Take a look. We're winning.
Do I prefer using V and V over Conda? Um, I think it's mainly because I taught myself V and V. Conda's still good as well, but um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, there's, there's, like, I haven't done any investigation as to why I might not like it or like it. I don't know. I just, I just haven't really bothered investigating it too much, to be perfectly honest. But um, a yeah, good question, Wesley. A lot of maths, and I love ML. Yeah, I'm starting to, to build an appreciation for maths again. I really didn't like it for a while, and then I'm like, you know what? I really should go back, really focus on actually getting a little bit better at it. Okay, so what are we doing? So we've now captured that. So let's let's close this. Let's delete that. So now if we just wanted to loop while true. All right, so this should effectively just keep capturing game frames now, right? Let's have a look. It's looking okay, guys. And I can't hear myself think over the Supra. All right, so take a look, right? So we're capturing, we're actually capturing game frames. There is a great question here that I really want to answer. So don't you think using so yash i'm not, I'm not picking on you i I'm actually want to ex elaborate what why why i'm doing it this way so don't you think using obs to capture gameplay footage and extracting frames from that would have been simpler and faster yes but what we also want to capture let's let's jump back to our breakdown board i'm going to show you why i didn't do it that way so ideally I don't know why the iPad does this weird coloring when I switch back to it. Come on. Yep. Still doesn't want to play ball. I've got to get a better capture card for the, the breakdown board. Sometimes it, it does it. There we go. Okay. So ideally what I'm going to do for this particular deep learning mode, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. Like I don't want to over engineer this if at all possible. I'm going to do it in orange to represent our TensorFlow model. So what I'm going to be passing through is an image. Then it will be uh, a bunch of like CNN layers. We, we probably won't get to this tonight, but if you guys want me to keep going with this particular project, we shall. Oh, I like it. But, um, uh, and then we'll have a dense layer, which should condense this down to a vector of actions, right? those actions are going to be button presses on on the controller now the reason that i didn't do it in obs is because we in like if you think about what our data set is effectively going to be we are we need two things we need images and this is our x data and we need what's it called button presses or corresponding button presses, right? As our array. I would not be able to capture the button presses that are associated to this particular image at the same time if I use something like OBS. So that's why even though it is a fair bit more work to capture it up front using Python, ideally it should actually allow us to model it later on. So that we can effectively go and, and do this type of modeling here. Great question though. Because it is relevant, right? Like if, if something's going to be faster, like I'm all for like using the, the more efficient way rather than just writing code for the sake of writing code. Never do that. Like if, if you've got an efficient way to do something, go and do that efficient way. Don't, don't just write code for the sake of writing code. If you do need code, then it's always great to have that up your back pocket. 
Okay, um, what are we doing now? Should we go try to investigate how to capture this Xbox controller input? Well, I mean, we could always just do it with the... with the, um, keyboard. But nobody wants to drive with a keyboard. Can I actually drive with a keyboard? <laughs> Alright, let's go. How do you even go? I can't even... Oh, yeah. Hey, all right, maybe we can. Let's break. Right. Maybe. Might actually be able to drive with a keyboard. Guys, I might actually be able to drive with a keyboard. I mean, it's not ideal, but... Oh, it feels so weird doing this right now. It's blasphemous, but... It'll definitely simplify our processes. I've never driven with a keyboard. I was always controller on PC. Alright, I don't know. Maybe we should just try to... Capture input with a keyboard? I'm almost tempted to do it. Because, like... Hey, yo, guys. Honestly, I'm not that bad with the keyboard. <laughs> I mean, not great, but... As I crash. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, let's let's go do some research. How do we co collect? I'm also thinking about like just as fun streaming, actually getting um, a direct drive steering wheel and um, and just doing some some racing streams. I don't know. And, like it's always been my dream to get like a full cockpit. So who knows? Maybe we'll make that happen. Um, all right. What are we doing? So. How did everyone start on console? Yeah, no, I definitely start on console, man. <laughs> um, capture. Oh, why are we on caps? Capture. Somebody said, what, what was that? Hacker RF. But is that via. Hacker RF. This was Mazi's suggestion. Ah, uh, this look, is this hardware? What are, what are we looking at here? I don't want to have to use a hardware-based device, ideally. Surely there's a way to just do it with code. Capture button presses. Capture button from Xbox control. This is this is the real part of coding. Just uh, just random googling how to do stuff. Capture. Oh no, my capture button from Xbox controller, PC Python. So go stack overflow. The inputs library can be used as an alternative to Pi game. Oh wow, this looks very straightforward. Cross -pla here we go. Cross-platform support for keyboards, mice, and gamepads. Hey, but wait, hold on. We need to capture. I want to add controller support to make games. Def read. Okay, so monitor controller. Oh yeah, wait, we could do this. 
prevent in an event. The event must get, what is get gamepad? All right, let's try it out. Yeah, get, uh, we're going to call this button presses. And what do we need? Inputs. So do we have to install that? Presumably pip install inputs. Capture input. Hold on, what's happening here? We can use the keyboard. It's easier to map controls than an Xbox controller. What do you guys want to do? You guys want to do keyboard or you guys want to do Xbox controller? These trip. These transparent lives are so useful. I don't know what that's in reference to. Keyboard? Everyone's for keyboard? All right, screw it. We'll go keyboard. Keyboard controller. Not everyone has controllers. Whatever. Both. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. Um, maybe we'll leave this. Maybe I'll throw this one up as a poll on the community channel because I'm probably going to wrap up the stream kind of soonish anyway. But, um, Xbox keyboard. All right. I'm going to throw it up on the, on the, on, I'm going to do a poll on the community tab. Hold up. How should we collect the, what are we collecting? The button presses for the Forza ML project. Wait, I think I can do polls inside. I'm such an idiot. Here we go. How should we collect button presses? Um, keyboard controller. Look at me using a poll, guys. This is advanced streaming here. Poster. <laughs> Apple remote. Love it. Thanks, Ash. Yeah. Samsung smart fridge. Power cube dropping bangers down here. All right. Um... Okay, how do we, all right, let's do, I'm going to wrap this up in three minutes. Anyway, I want to, I want to go grab some dinner. All right, let's, uh, let's have a chat and then wrap it up. And then I'm guessing it's sounding like you guys want me to continue this and, and keep going with this, uh, little series. We will probably keep it going tomorrow. Damn, 80% keyboard. I was not expecting that. Okay. All right. All righty, let's have a chat. What's happening? Keyboard is greater than controller. Yeah, but for driving games, you cannot say keyboard is better than controller. For anything else, yes, I agree. Why am I trying to do this using a CNN instead of doing feature engineering plus reinforcement learning? Is there is, I don't, so reinforcement learning takes a ton of time and a ton of compute power. So. I, I don't know how many of you guys have actually gone through the full reinforcement learning course, but like to train Dino at the Dino AI, that was like a multi hour training thing. So like doing it for this is probably not going to be much shorter. Although you definitely could use reinforcement learning. There is nothing stopping you from, from doing that. Just keep that in mind. Um, you definitely could. It's just that I, in this particular case, I'd, I'd rather not have to go, go through that to set it up because it does take an absolute ton of time. Uh, discrete, I mean, different action. I don't know if that was in response to me. 
why do I need to capture keyboard for or console inputs? Like for the Dino AI, there was no need for capturing inputs, just the game screen captures. Yeah, so so that's because with Dino AI, we did use reinforcement learning and it was just learning based on the score that it was actually attaining. So you didn't need to capture the inputs. In this particular case, we are capturing the inputs and we're not necessarily going to train based on a score because capturing a score for a race can be a bit of a pain. But if you guys want to take this further, may maybe we could take a look and see how much further it is. All right, so it's sounding like we're going to keep this going tomorrow. Flakes with sugar, yeah. Great videos, we will share the code after. Of course, I will share this code, guys. I'm, I'm not keeping this for me. This is all for you guys. Um, I'll definitely share this code, but I don't... Uh, maybe I'll throw it up on GitHub now. So we, let's just set this to pass for now. Um, at what time did I start? I think I started at like 5 p.m. today. Well, 5.30 actually, but... um. Alrighty guys, if we've got no questions, it sounds like it is decided. We are going with keyboard tomorrow. So that means your boy's gonna have to go and drive with a keyboard to collect these frames. So that's gonna be fun, but uh, I'm definitely gonna keep going on with this tomorrow and or at least this week and we'll, we'll see how we go. As well as, don't forget, technical support is coming soon. So um, watch out in the community tab. I'm gonna be posting up uh, a way for you to ask for support there and I'll pick maybe the top 10 each week and we'll go through and break it down how to go through those errors as well as uh, past that paper and uh, the coding challenges those are coming up soon but it is all going to be happening yeah keyboard's the winner let me end the poll you guys see the results there you go keyboard 77 percent controller 22 percent damn <laughs> safe driving yeah <laughs> Uh, stream should be starting at around five. Let me check what's, what's happening in the other. I'll tell you. This is all based on Australian time, but I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I'm prepping for tomorrow's one. So I'll actually have, um, I'll, I'll set up the placeholder. It'll be 5 30 PM Australian. So I'll set it up so that you guys can check it out. Alrighty, cool guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love all ya. I'll see you tomorrow. Catch you later. Be good. Get some coding in. I'll share all of this so you guys can see it a little bit later. Thanks again so much for tuning in. Peace.